So Boston now is getting sneaky old. Al Horford's going to be 30. He's their second best player. Next year, Isaiah Thomas is going to be 29 years old. And Avery Bradley's a free agent. So you start looking around and you're like, where's the big leap? The big leap is getting a Jimmy Butler and I give up five picks. Never forget what the Lakers gave up to get Pau Gasol. They gave up two first round picks. Mark Gasol and three players. And the Lakers won the trade because they got Pau, one guy with Kobe at 29 years old, and won two titles. Quality in the NBA always beats quantity. If you know Paul DePodesta's the guy, what would he do with that number one pick? If you're true to the economics of the NFL post CBA, if you like a quarterback, you take him first overall. After 2011 at the CBA, these quarterback rookie deals first overall is four years, $22 million. So Andrew Luck on his first four years was four years, $22 million. Jameis Winston's making $6 million next year. Mike Glennon in a free agent deal just made $15 million. Whereas Carson Wentz is going to make $6 million. And so Miles Garrett might be the pick, but if you're true to the economics and you like a quarterback, you always take him first overall if you do not have a quarterback in the building. One is the one thing I've been very critical of Russell Westbrook on? Lack of self-awareness. What if women you married a guy and his only friend was his car? No, your friends are your teammates. Russell Westbrook's dad told him, your only friend is the basketball. Houston's going to win this series quickly. Really quickly. And I don't blame that on Westbrook. I don't. But he's only got one friend on the floor, the ball. Harden will have many. They're called human beings and teammates.